Hello guys, and this is the 19th story of the series, and today I'm going to be going over how to use the different types of sounds, sound uh, sound nodes, sound cues, I'm going to show you how to use them, import your own custom sounds, and then I'm going to show you how to use Matini to make some nice little tracks as if it's like a sound editing software. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the default uh, example map, um, you don't need to do anything flashy here. So I'm just going to go to sound cues up here, this is where you can find your default sound cues. You can't find sound waves in this version of the UDK at the moment. So just look forward to the uh, next version of the UDK beta and you might be able to find it. So if I just play some of these, you can hear them. If I click it, you'll see that uh, it plays different sounds which means it is not a uh, default WAV file, there's actually multiple sounds in there. So if you right click and press edit using sound cue editor, you will see what goes on in here. You'll see you've got the two different wave, uh, WAV files here, the fire impact fizzle 5 and number 3, you've got the random, you've got the modulator which you can change the pitch max minimum, the volume minimum and maximum, and then you have got this, the attenuation, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but that's about, that's how I'd say anyway. So I'm going to show you how to make your own sound cues later on in the video, so you can put your own things in there. It doesn't, you can, I'll show you how to go through different settings here, which each of them do. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one of these into the game. I'm going to go for a nice explosion sound, so you can hear it properly. Okay, you can sa uh, make that sound good. So, as you'll see in my last video with the particle systems, I used sound, not my last video, sorry, the video before the last one, I used some fight. Now you want to put some depth into that. You want to make people actually know it's sound, uh, the sound to it, make it feel more realistic. So, I'm just, as you'll see, once you've got that in there, you'll have these yellow lines. These, This is the area where you can hear it to see there's bigger lines but the inside ones the inside radius is where you will be able to hear it most so if I press play here you'll still be able to slightly hear it but let's say I come over here right next to the sound cue it's going to be a relatively louder you can move these around with the default transformation tools so see here and scaling I don't advise you go ahead and use the non-uniform as it can mess with it and you'll see it go flat if you press play it won't sound as realistic and you'll get that tinny bass no uh, tinny noise as if there's no bass and you don't want that so I'm just going to press ctrl z and sort that out so with that I'm going to show you how to import your own custom uh, sounds and remember this, they, I'm actually now I'm going to go over that in a second so I'm just going to go to my desktop so just browse to where you've got the sound already as you'll see here you'll have your example of wave sound I made this, you'd have to have it with the example name but when importing in, in it has to be a wave sound as you'll see under here under the list uh, WAV you can't put in something like a WMA you can't use that so I'm just going to go ahead and use that press OK I'm going to call it example tut and then you'll see it's in my package press OK to all and you'll get this example tut sound node wave so just press pro pro hello, hello, hello 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 testing 1 2 3 testing over and it'll be the same sound over and over again there's no random so now I'm going to show you how to change that into a sound cue so if you right click actually you don't need to worry about that so just right click and then go to new sound cue I'm just going to call this example tut sound cue press ok and you'll have the sound cue editor but you'll realize this one is blank uh, so you're going to open so you're going to right click and make yourself attenuation you're going to want to make yourself a modulator and you're going to want to make yourself a random but seeing as I only have one sound at the moment I'm not going to put the random in there but let's say you just put in multiple 
I'm just going to put in random for the purpose of the video. One I've on, since I'll only have one thing hooked up to it, it won't really do anything. So if I just hook these up according to like how they should be, I'm just going to straighten it out, make it not look nice and good. Modulator, and then you got your random. Move that down. Okay, so now you might want to put in your sound node. So click on it, make sure you haven't got the sound cue selected in the content browser anymore. Right click, sound node wave example tut. Hook that up to random. Or you could even put it straight into the modulator if you really have to. It's going to make it look nice and good. If you press here, stop, and then play selected hello, node. Hello, hello, hello. Testing. You'll one, be two, able three, to hear testing, it. Testing, testing. So if I just uh, break all the links on here quickly. Actually, now I'm just going to delete it. I can't find where to uh, break all the links. I'm just going to put that in again and put the random back in. And I'm going to hook this up and it will look exactly as I showed you with the previous one so once you've got that you might want to change the pitch minimum and maximum and the volume minimum and maximum so let's say I put it to minimum to 0 0.45 and change this one to 0 0.45 press play hello hello hello, hello. and again Hello, hello. And you'll see that it's exactly the same volume every time. So sometimes you might want to change it, but really you want to have the same volume. Pitch minimum maximum. I don't advise setting this down to something stupid like zero point oh let's say zero five. Sorry about that. Zero point zero five. I'm just gonna show you the basic what pitch is. And you'll see it's gone all bassy and it's slowed down. Basically, that's what it pitch is. So you won't need to worry about that. So now I've shown you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to uh, make like soundtracks in Matini to so just like sequenced uh, sound uh, triggering. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Kismet quickly. Right click, new Matini, and I'm gonna go get myself a player spawned event. Actually, no, I'm just going to go for a. I'm going to add a trigger into the game. I'm going to right click, trigger properties, just so you can see it. See the object. Um, see if I can find it quickly. It won't be two seconds. Display, here it is, hidden. I want to uncheck that, just so I can see it, so when I walk over it, it will play the sound. It's going to make uh, that touch, play. I'm going to change the amount of times you can set this off. Zero. So now with, Mati with the Matini selected, you're going to want to uh, add in some sounds. So to do that, I'm just going to make sure I've got the sound wave selected. And I'm going to go over, right click, new empty group. I'm just going to call this sound cue uh, tut gonna right click you are gonna want to make a new soundtrack so with that if you just press enter to make a keyframe uh, apparently I've got my sound cue selected so I'll just go back to my content browser open that up select the sound cue you can't just do it with the standard wave files press in press enter and you got your sound cue stop play and you should be able to hear it so I'm just going to get myself some more sound cues. Just go to all assets, and I'm going to get in this one here. So I'm just going to press enter, and you'll see it's made it with the bio bio, bio rifle. Press stop, play, and you see it's still got the pitch to it. And then you'll hear that bio rifle uh, impact sound. So that should be like the basics of making a soundtrack. So once you've done that, I'm going to show you another thing. With that done, you can just close that up, go to Kismet. 
you will have your trigger here but you also might want to uh, add in an actual sound so I'm just going to go back to uh, the content browser I'm going to go find that the example sound node I made example example sound cue um, rather than actually putting in the sound directly from the content browser this is how you can do it in 3D space empty group sorry and then new empty group sound and if I move that away you'll see you've now got the ambient sound hooked up to this so if I press stop and then I'm just gonna press enter so I haven't got a sound selected okay I made a new entry. I need to make a new sound group here press enter and you've got it here in free space there we go so let's say I come out of there close this off quickly and then I'm just gonna walk up to it I should be able to see it you can hear the sound start off because you've just got the standard ambient sound in there you can add in different types of ambient sounds so if I just go to my WAV file which I put in there all assets rather than sound cues and then see if I can find it hello 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 hello, hello. Then testing right one click, two three testing, and then testing. there's non looping simple simple toggleable so simple just will keep on looping non looping well not loop and this is Hobo versions which will go on which you can turn on and off in Matini so yeah you won't need to worry about that so, so I think you can change that in the settings anyway ambient sound autoplay uncheck that and you won't hear it straight away so I'm just going to run over my trigger quickly you'll be able to hear the sound in there. I know I should really change the pitch but that's all I wanted to show you in the tutorial. You should be able to use uh, sounds correctly be able to edit them around with Matini and add random effects etc. So thanks for watching. Comment, like, rate, uh, comment, like, rate and subscribe and goodbye.